morning. Um, today is Thursday, the 31st of March. Um, Dale, if you're watching, happy birthday. Uh, today is our last morning here at the Murray Field Hotel. Um, we just finished up breakfast, um, got our stuff packed up, and we are getting ready to head out relatively soon here. We have a taxi picking us up at 9 o'clock. Um, and we are headed to the Edinburgh Airport to pick up our rental car for the next two and a half weeks. Um, from the airport, we are planning on heading to Roslyn Chapel. Um, unfortunately, I have been told that Roslyn Chapel does not allow uh, photography on the inside. However, we're going to ask well, when we get there just to make sure. Um, and uh, if we can get footage, um, we'll definitely make sure to add that in the pictures later this afternoon. Um, when we are done at Roslyn Chapel, we are planning on heading to Glasgow to our next hotel, which is the Jury's Inn of Glasgow. Um, and we're going to basically just kind of keep it easy and relaxed for the rest of the day. Um, we did a lot of walking, obviously, uh, the past three days. Um, I believe it was a total of seven miles, including the airport on Monday. Um, on Tuesday, we did nine miles, and then yesterday, we did an additional nine miles. Um, and these are, are pretty accurate uh, guesstimations based on um, Google Maps and, and where we went and how much we did. We're not even including um, the walking around that we did within certain places. Um, so approximately <laughs> that many miles each day. Um, so we're, we're tired and we're sore. Um, neither one of us slept really well last night, to be honest. So um, we're just going to kind of take it easy. Uh, we might do a little bit of, of wandering or, or exploring when we arrive in Glasgow, but it's not going to be a whole lot. Um, or we might just decide to stay within the hotel. Um, but either way, we will keep you updated and let you know what's next on our adventure. Morning guys, um, today is April 1st. It is our fifth day here in Scotland. Um, as you know, yesterday we picked up the car. 
uh, went to Roslyn Chapel um, and as I stated before, Roslyn Chapel does not allow photography inside the chapel. However, Bill was able to get a ton of pictures on the outside. Um, there were some placards and whatnot that showed um, some of the pictures from inside. Um, but because it is a charitable organization and a working church, um, they don't allow photography inside for a couple of reasons. One, um, for the preservation of the church. Um, and two, because um, it's how they keep the church alive and going and are able to do some of the repairs that are needed um, to keep the place open for people to come visit. Um, we uh, found out a couple of interesting things. Um, there was a, a, an employee that came in and did a presentation. Um, it was really neat. Uh, a lot of uh, really interesting information, um, some funny things. Um, and we found out that, um, the movie The Da Vinci Code, in which Roslyn Chapel was featured, um, there were quite a few parts that were actually CGI and not the real life parts of Roslyn Chapel, um, especially in the crypt. Um, things were very different than in the movie. And, uh, we're not going to go into detail, um, hopefully you'll have the chance to come see for yourself one of these days. Um, but it is still an incredibly beautiful place to go and see, um, lots and lots of history surrounding the place and, uh, beautiful and gorgeous ar architecture, obviously. Um, so from Roslyn Chapel, we, um, drove to, here to, uh, Glasgow. Um, I am pretty paranoid to begin with as far as driving in the city is concerned but um, driving in the city on the opposite side of the road um, I was panicking left and right and driving him absolutely crazy um, I was passenger passenger seat driver um, and uh, yeah I was freaking him out quite a bit because I was freaking out um, at the end there I had to bite my tongue and and uh, sit on my hands because I was freaking out so much that I, I couldn't handle it anymore. He was getting upset with me. So um, after that fiasco, <laughs> we uh, decided uh, when we got to the hotel that we were just going to kind of take it easy. Um, so we got settled in. Um, and then we went to go see if we could do a little bit of exploring. Um, we only went a few blocks. Um, found something to eat for dinner and then um we ended up hitting the grocery store for some healthy snacks because we haven't been eating the healthiest the past few days so we need to kind of do better um so we picked up some healthy snacks um and some stuff for lunch today um and today uh this morning we are planning to go do some laundry uh, relatively soon we just finished up with breakfast um, we have a f an entire suitcase full of dirty clothes that need washed desperately so we're gonna go do that um, that is roughly a mile away from here so we're gonna walk there and of course walk back once we get back put all of our stuff away and then our intentions as you know best laid plans don't always work out for us um, as evident in Edinburgh um, but um, our intentions are to head into the city center. Um, there's a short three mile loop um, that we are hoping to hit, um, which includes the Glasgow Cathedral, um, St. Mundo's Religious Center, and the necropolis which we're both really looking forward to because we love cemeteries and the history and the architecture surrounding um the gravestones and and all of that stuff so we're really looking forward to that um but um that's pretty much our plans for the day when we get back here um if we have time i plan on editing some more footage and seeing if we can't get this video up for you um but other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, update you probably at the end of the night. 
um, and let you know how things went and if our plans worked out at all whatsoever for once. <laughs> but until then, we'll talk to you later.
guys. So, um, it is the end of the fifth day, um, April 1st. And, um, yeah, what's that saying again about best laid plans? Because, uh... Always work. <laughs> Always. Yeah, for us, not so much. Um, anyways, so we went and did laundry. Six hours. And it took a lot longer than we were expecting. Four hours. Because the laundry mat that we originally looked up wasn't even a laundry mat. Um, they two call washers. Them, and they literally had two washers and a dryer, and it was out on the street, and it was literally like under the the overhang of a, a gas station. Gas station. <laughs> so it was like, um, okay. So we looked up another one, I and it was. I dropped my clothes on the floor. <laughs> We, we looked up another one, and it was um, another half a mile from where we were. Closer. The, yeah, closer to Turned the out about, hotel. Yeah, it was, it was closer to the hotel. So we went there. Um, the lady was really, really nice that, that, um, that owned the place. Um, and uh, we were able to get our laundry done. Um, it's a little different from here in the U.S., but much... Much of it's the same. Um, they use a token system instead of um, popping your your actual money into the machine. No dryer sheets. Um, they don't use dryer sheets, and they don't allow bleach at laundromats because it can potentially damage the next customer's clothing. Which makes sense. It, totally. Um, anyway, so we, we got our, our laundry done. Um, we're back up to... A full suitcase full of clothes again. <laughs> um, anyway, so then after that, we head to the city center. Uh, we were supposed to go see um, St. Mungo's and the cathedral and the necropolis. Mungo's well, doesn't even look like they're even open anymore. Yeah, they. I, I th honestly, I think that they probably shut down for COVID and haven't reopened yet. Um, if they reopen at all, to be honest, I, I don't know what's going on there, but that's kind of what we're suspecting. Um, and then Glasgow Cathedral, uh, we went and found out that we have to have tickets. Oh, excuse me. Um, and the only way that you can get tickets is if you do it online. Um, that was not fun. No, we were having internet issues all day. Um, we fun. couldn't get, and we couldn't get tickets ordered, um, but we finally, finally were able to get the tickets ordered. And then um, go downstairs. To, to get them printed up, yeah, yeah. we had to go ask yeah, them at fun. the desk. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, Everybody but we... Everybody giving us different, what, Different email, email addresses, addresses to send it to, it was pretty crazy. It was, was we sent was it to ready, like four different emails. <laughs> but anyways... So we got um, we got tickets um, to the cathedral for tomorrow. Yes. Um, so tomorrow we are headed to uh, church in the morning. Um, Excuse me. Damn. Super super excited because um, it is one of the largest Seventh Day Adventist churches in Scotland. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to go to that, um, especially tomorrow of all days. Um, and then after church, um, we are headed to the city center again to go see Glasgow Cathedral. Yeah. Um, the only thing that we were able to accomplish today was, was the necropolis. Yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> and it's a good thing that it was the only thing we were able to do because it took up a large portion of our time. Saw so another um, thing out there with one of my ancestors' names on it. Yeah. They, uh, what, helped do fund or whatever this, uh... They helped, um, it, they were, they were, uh, they were, it was a, rec it was a memorial in recognition yeah. memorial. of, um, some of the people who helped in the Reformation. Yeah. Um, and one of his, um, ancestors, Archibald, 
um, mm -hmm. Campbell was uh, listed as one of those people. So we saw that, um, got a picture of that, but we have a ton of pictures of the necropolis. He yeah. Necromancy everywhere. <laughs> It was everywhere. You do realize what necromancy yeah, actually so means, right? <laughs> okay, just making sure. Well, they need some room out there. It was everywhere. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was Miles. Yeah, it, it was huge. It's all built up on this big, huge hill. The size of Stambo. And b probably bigger, in all honesty. If those of you who don't, don't know who Stam what Stambo is, consider yourself lucky. <laughs> And they, honestly, I think it's bigger than Sambo Hill, to be completely honest with you. I think that that hill is much larger than that. But it's it's completely spread out. We only got to actually explore probably... Three miles. Uh, a, good, a good third of the necropolis, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, and it it's, was it's, probably well over three miles worth of walking in, within the necropolis alone. It's layered. It's like Shrek. It's got yeah. layers. <laughs> but yeah it's really cool lots and lots of pictures there um we did take some pictures on our way to the laundromat and um she took pictures obviously of the laundromat. yeah i did that i did take pictures of the laundromat too oh and but, i got a picture of what the hell is it called oh a bone booth if any of you don't remember what one of those are we have a picture of no, it no not a phone booth it yeah, was, it was a police a, it was a police phone booth. it was no it was well, a, what was it it was a police box. Oh. Same um, thing. as in a Doctor Who style is that police why you had box. Me take a picture yes, of that is exactly Doctor. why I had you take a picture. Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Who. Who sucks. Um. Anyways, so that's what we were able to get done today. Um, I'm super excited about church in the cathedral tomorrow. So uh, we will keep you guys updated. Um, probably won't do an update in the morning because we're going to be busy getting ready for church and heading out. But you already know what we're doing, so we probably don't need to do a video anyways. And so we will give you a follow-up video tomorrow evening at the end of the day. Okay. And, I uh, might be there. <laughs> and uh, that's it for now.